Adnan, how long is it going to take you watering these plants? I need you for some help. Oh, I just started watering this bed. Uh, after that, I have to water the other bed and also at the front. So it's going to take me almost an hour of time. S sorry, I can't help you right now. Oh, that's too long. Hi everyone, welcome again to my channel. So as you guys see, today I am here in my backyard because I have come up with another exciting project for you guys, which is a part of the tips and tricks of home improvement. This is a brilliant way of watering your outdoor plants, which is going to save you time, efforts and of course money. So with this, I would like to introduce you to my husband who you guys just saw in the earlier video. He is very good with gardening and landscaping and he'll help you guys understand how to set up this irrigation system. Hello everyone. I'm here to support my wife for her channel. Um, I would like to uh, take you guys through a walkthrough of the system that I have set up in my backyard. This is an irrigation system. This is going to save you a lot of time and money for sure. Uh, watering the plants is always a, uh, a very time consuming thing at the back and the front so let's have a look at it that how I have set up the system and I will take you through all the, uh, the small pieces of this video and different components that you need, can order from Amazon uh, so let's start with it okay guys so to set up the irrigation system we are gonna need these components now i have ordered these components from amazon and for me uh, the approximate total cost for these components were around between 760 to 70 canadian dollars you can order more superior qualities if you want in these components you can get more superior qualities it, the price may go a bit higher but these are these are the stuff that i have ordered from amazon i'll put uh, i'll put the links for uh, this these products which I've ordered from Amazon in the in the product description you can you can get it from there this is quarter inch size irrigation tubing this is 100 feet these are sprinklers these are the sprinklers which are gonna create the 365 degree uh, fountain effect and these are a bit powerful i especially ordered these ones in order to cover the f more areas uh, in order to cover more area for the for the sprinkler to throw more water and also to cover more area um, and and these are the t's which we will need to connect these sprinklers with the tube these are 100 pieces these are 100 pieces too and this is the connector that we will need we will need to put this into our hose connection and we will uh, use these connectors to put the tube in and uh, uh, for the for the water to go through this and this is half an inch so i i bought this from a local shop to have a connector which goes into this and this goes into my hose pipe because this is the same size of my hose pipe so it's a bit smaller to fit into the uh, the hose pipe so you may find this in a local shop or you can find this on amazon as well but i got this from my local shop so this is half inch uh, i can show you this is this is half inch to three quarter connector okay so now using these these components we're gonna set up the irrigation system let's try that this is my vegetable bed and that's my flower bed so we're gonna start putting up in the vegetable bed for the first step in installing these sprinklers is to first put them and mark them where you want to install them so I'm installing them one here another here one here this is about two feet apart from each other and and the fourth one there i have my onions here i have my mint here i have my chimes here and i have my strawberries here so i want to cover the area and i want to uh, uh, water all of them evenly so i have planted them two feet apart from each other i have planted one here which gonna cover my mint in this box and one on that corner which will cover the mint in the other other corner so 
first I have marked them so after you install them you you know that this is the right positions for the sprinklers just uh, mark them and then put a marker on them uh, a stick kind of a thing to make sure that this is your position you know where you have to install it the reason we have to take this out uh, is because uh, for to, to for tubing to put into this you have to first put the tube into hot water and soften it and then you'll be able to put into this uh, nozzle uh, otherwise it will be very difficult to put the tube into this nozzle okay so i have removed these sprinklers from the ground now and i have cut these pipes into the measurement the right measurement which will fit into these nozzles and which will and one end will go into the main tubing running pipe and one will fit into here so now we have to warm this end put it into the hot water and make it soft so that we can put into this no nozzle uh, because this is just one single side nozzle sprinkler so every pipe is have two ends one into this and one into uh, the main line the main line will be connected with t's and uh, the and and this pipe will be connected to the t from the main line which we'll see later on okay we'll keep it in the hot, very hot water for a minute and uh, before it so it gets soft and now we'll push this into this so it will go in smoothly it's attached to this and now we attach the other end to this t these two parts are gonna go into the main line and this will be attached to this part of the t so we're going to put it into hot water make sure it's all the way through the end otherwise the the force of the water may throw the tube out of the tea so it's now all the way in it's nice and tight okay now we're gonna connect this to the hose outlet uh, so first we're gonna put this extension make sure it's fastened enough and now we're going to put this extension this connector to this extension okay and now we're going to put the main tubing pipe to this one of the outlet of this connector there you go it's connected well so this is our main line which will run into the bed and all other sprinklers connectors will be connected to this line we'll see later on how it looks like so this is our main line running across the bed and all these connecting tubes are gonna connect to this main line so you have to measure it wherever you want to put your spikes and you have to measure the connection cut the main line and connect it to both the ends of the t's a similar way it's going to connect to the main line with the t's in both the ends so cut it and connect it both the ends similarly for all the spikes so we're going to cut it and connect it okay so we have started the water and right now three of my sprinklers are on and this is how they will look like this is in this form they is gonna sprinkle the water across the bed you can adjust the power for these sprinklers with this green nozzle on the top and you can start and off on and off so this one is off so let's start this one
So right, I have adjusted the green part on the top. This one is on full force. This one is on full force. This one is on medium one. This one is on low one. So you can adjust the force of the water with this green piece on the top. You can lower and increase the force as you want. So guys, this one is now done and I'm gonna install the same thing in my other bed as well. And this is gonna save me a lot of time. I just have to uh, turn my water on and that's it. I don't have to sit and watch and uh, do water them manually. So it's gonna save me a ton of time. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.